What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Eclipse IDE for Java. So let's get started. Now what is Eclipse IDE? Well Eclipse IDE is a like Java uh, editor with a built-in uh, compiler and uh, it's it'll uh, read uh, your program, it'll let you know if there's errors, it'll, it'll run the program and it'll all do this in, in one uh, editor, right? You don't have to open up a control prompt or if you're using a Mac you won't have to open up the terminal. It does everything in one uh, program. So I thought that was pretty cool. So so the main main reason why I decided to switch over to Eclipse is because I want it to be more accessible to everybody. Let's see if you guys are using Macs or Linux. Uh, you guys can follow along in this tutorial. You guys, uh, if you do have Macs or if you do have Linux, you can d download Eclipse as well. And uh, we all can follow along. And uh, another main main reason why I decided to uh, go with Eclipse is because it one, it's free. It's a powerful tool. And uh, let's say uh, you, you're compiling a large program with uh, command prompt, right? It, and uh, if you have a lot of errors, uh, you won't be able to locate those errors. With Eclipse, it'll tell you exactly what line the error occurred and you, you could fix it. So I thought it was pretty cool. So, all right, let's get started. We gotta open up our browser, open up Google, and Google type in Eclipse, right? And Google type in Eclipse, E-C-L-I-P-S-E, -E, right? Go to the, the first link you see, eclipse.org, click on it. Then you want to go to downloads, right? While in downloads, you're going to see this little uh, Eclipse uh, drop down list here. And you're going to select what operating system you're running. If you're running Windows, you click on Windows. If you're running a Linux, you click on Linux. If you're running on Mac OS X, click on Mac OS X. I'm using uh, Windows right now, so I'm going to click Windows. And uh, we, we're going to make sure we click on uh, the right program here. Uh, see this Eclipse IDE for Java EE developer? We want this one here. And you guys have to uh, know if your operating system is a 32-bit or a 64-bit. You can find that out by going into uh, Control Panel, right? Hit Settings here, Control Panel, hit the System, then System again. And it'll tell you in uh, system type, it'll tell you if it's a 64-bit or a 32-bit. I'm, I'm, I'm using a 64-bit. So I will download the 64-bit version. But if you guys are using like Windows uh, 7, you can just go to Start, Control Panel, System, System, and it, you, you get the same results. So let's click on uh, the download link. I'm going to click on this Windows 64-bit download link here right next to Eclipse IDE Java EE Developer link here. So click on it. I'm going to click on this uh, link here right, with the green arrow. So now the download is starting and it's starting to download right now. All right, after it's finished downloading, I'm going to open up my downloads uh, link here and look for that file. Should be the first one. Here we go. It's Eclipse uh, and it's a uh, raw or actually a zip file. We're going to need to extract it. So you, if you guys don't already have like a WinZip or WinRoar, you should download it. It's free. Google search it. Um, we're going to double click the file, right? And uh, whether or not if you have Windows, uh, whether or not if you have WinZip or WinRAR, it's going to ask you to extract it to a specific location. You're going to click on Extract To. I'm going to click on Extract To my desktop. OK. You're going to let it run. All right, now after it's finished extracting, I'm going to close all this here. I'm going to go to my desktop because I saved it to my desktop. We should have a new folder, right? And the new folder is called Eclipse. So double click the new folder you just extracted. And uh, we're going to click on this application here. This is the installation file here. Click on the, this Eclipse link. Double click it actually. Uh, workshop, just press OK. All right, once you're done, you should see something like this with a little welcome message here. You can click out of that. Now we've successfully installed Eclipse on our computer. So this is the actual interface here. Whether you're a Mac user, Linux user, or a Windows user, it looks exactly the same. So when you guys follow me along with, with the tutorials, it sh should be exactly the same. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is create a new project. So we're gonna click on File, click on New, move to the side, go uh, down to Projects, see New Project right here, click on it. Then we're gonna click on this Java Project folder here double click it. Now we got to give our new project a name. I'm going to call mine Java class. You can name it whatever you want. And we're going to click on finish on the bottom here. Uh, then we click OK. Yes, that's fine. So now 
uh, we're gonna click on this thing here this like arrow thing to expand the folders now we're gonna right click this source folder here right click it and we want new class here so the class we can name it whatever we want uh, the class is basically like your uh, project or your program name uh, if you guys watch my last tutorial uh, it's, it's basically like the dot java file we created all right so so everything has to be a class in java so we can name it whatever we want i'm going to call mine uh, blue doesn't make a difference we can click on finish now we can start coding see as you can see right here it filled in our class here right it filled in our class block here for us so we don't have to actually do it ourselves all we have to do is add a method now right so let's add a method if you guys watch my last tutorial i created a hello world program that prints hello world on the screen right but first we need a method to to uh to add a method we're going to type in public we're going to type in static right we're going to type in void hit space again hit main or type in main open parentheses inside to open and close parentheses as you can see when in this editor here it'll fill in it'll add the second closing parentheses so you don't have to add it so that, that this is another cool th feature about this uh editor here it'll automatically fill in the blanks for you so you, a lot of things you won't have to like type in so in between this open and close parentheses here we want to add uh, the the words capital s t r i n g right hit space uh, i'm sorry Next to a string, we're gonna we're gonna use this open and close bracket, right? Hit space, then type in a r g s, right? Then we're going to add a open curly brace to this uh, end of this here. I hit space, then I added the open curly brace. Now I'm gonna hit enter. Oops, I'm gonna hit enter. And if once I hit enter, it added that second curly brace for me, the closing one. So again, it will fill in the blanks for you. So it, it just makes life a lot easier when you're programming, and it'll like fill in a lot of the blanks. And like let's say I when, when I run this program, if if I uh, spelled something wrong, it, it, when I come try to run, it'll t tell you something's wrong. It'll give you an error message, and it'll tell you exactly what line where the problem is, and then you go find that line and you fix it. So, so the, again, this is why I highly recommend using this program, and uh, it's basically an editor and a compiler and everything in one. So it'll work for you Windows folks, you you guys if you're using Mac OS X, if you're using Linux, you can install this and you could follow along with the tutorials. So let's add a statement now inside this method. We're gonna, we're gonna use the system out statement again. So we're gonna type in system s y s t e m dot out okay then we can type in dot p r i n t as you can see it will automatically pop up with suggestions so it's pretty cool so you can actually just click on one if you want boolean they'll tell you but, I, but i'm just going to type it in normally here print ln uh, open parentheses here sorry open parentheses then we're going to type in closing parentheses and end it with a semicolon remember each statement you have to end with a semicolon a statement is basically uh, sub, uh, the code inside the program that uh, does an action uh, printing something on a screen is an action uh, let's say you you move around values or you're adding values or you're doing something is it, that those are actions if it's an action you have to have a semicolon we call those action statements so this system print ln is a statement so now we're going to add something in between this open and close parentheses we're going to we want something to print on the screen so i'll do the hello world again so since hello world is a string we got to use this double quote and again see it filled in that second double quote for us so all we have to do is add our string in between these two double quotes now. So I'm going to type in hello world, all right? So now we finished our program here. This is a hello world program. All to run this program, all we have to do is click on this run button right here. Click we're going to click on run. And we're going to click on okay. And down here it completely ran the program. We, we didn't get any errors and as you can see it printed out hello world that easy so we don't have to use command prompt moving around all the directories looking for our file compiling the file then if there's an error it won't tell you what's wrong with it and you got to kind of figure it out yourself so again this is the best choice if you guys are trying to learn uh java programming and i'm going to be using this with all my tutorials so if you guys 
you're gonna follow me please uh, download this if you guys are using again if you guys are using Mac OS X or if you're using Windows or if you're using Linux you can download it it's completely free and it's just really powerful so again if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos please subscribe to my channel I'm Rasim from RasmarTech.com and thanks for watching